Hello everyone. Through this video, we will learn how to configure Palo Alto Pan OS SD1. In order to configure SD1, you will need the following. You will need Panorama. Panorama is simply the centralized management software for uh, Palo Alto firewalls. You will need also to have SD1 uh, license on your firewalls. As you can see here, we have SD1 license on our uh, firewalls. We have in this demonstration uh, three firewalls, one hub, and two branches. You will need also to install the SD1 plugin on the Panorama. We will get uh, later on on how uh, uh, to configure the SD1 uh, plugin. So, uh, Next, we need to have the firewalls fully managed by the panorama. So let's start with the steps. We will go to the template for the branch firewall. We will start from the network interfaces. We have here three network interfaces. Ethernet 1 over 1 and 2 and 3. We have two interfaces connected to the internet through two different ISBs and the third interface connected to MBLS. All interfaces must be part of the same uh, security zone. So we have all uh, the three interfaces are part of the untrust zone as we can see. So first step is to enable SD1 on the interface. So you click on the interface to modify uh, the configuration. We go to IBV4, then click enable SD1. When you select to enable SD1, you will need to specify the gateway, which is the IB of uh, the next hub of uh, or the router. Then from the SD1 tab, you create SD1 interface profile. This SD1 interface profile for this interface is ISB uh, 100 meg. Let's see where and how to configure this SD1 interface profile. We configure it from in network SD1 interface profile, and we have here the SD1 interface profile all you need to specify is the interface type we selected Ethernet and you uh, specify the upload and download uh, limits also you need, you need to select a link tag this link tag uh, <coughs> marks this interface so it can be easy to identify this interface when configuring pass uh, distribution profile later on. So where to uh, configure the tags from objects, tags, then you have here the tag just a name and uh, select a color the tag must be a shared uh, object you will do we will do the same for the other interfaces as well and the same will be configured also at the hub side we have at the hub side a similar connectivity three interfaces two connected to the internet and one connected to the MBLS and we will do the same next we will go and configure the SD1 policy
SD1 policy defines how you how you will uh, route the traffic or how you uh, will select the uh, interface or pass for the traffic. So from here we define the SD1 policy. SD1 policy simply we define the source and destination uh, zones, the applications. Then from a path selection, you select a traffic distribution profile. This is the most important uh, piece for, for, for this configuration. So traffic distribution profile and also path quality profile. So let's take a look on path quality profile and traffic distribution profile. Pass quality profile and the traffic distribution profile both are objects can be configured under the device group objects. From uh, here, pass quality profile. There is all uh, there is already a predefined pass quality profiles, but you can uh, also create a custom uh, pass quality profile. So. Uh, what is pass quality profile all about? It's about defining metrics uh, and the thresholds for these metrics. So we have three metrics to measure um, the health for the interface, latency and jitter and packet loss. So you define here the thresholds and if these uh, thresholds are not met, then the, the, the path fails to meet this SLA for the application and another path is selected. Traffic distribution profile. We will have uh, multiple options for traffic distribution. We have best available path, which you see is uh, SD1 selects the best path that meets the application uh, path quality profile. The top-down priority, you, you specify multiple uh, link tags and the firewall will go through the list from top to down. And weighted session distribution, simply a round robin across all the tags, but with uh, the weight, the highest weight will be uh, the most preferred. So for top-down priority, for example, we can add here the tags. We can select, for example, ISB uh, 200 meg, then ISB 100 meg, then the MBLS as an example. So this is why we need a tag. The tags identify the interface so we can uh, specify it within the traffic distribution profile. After you configuring the network uh, interfaces and the SD1 policies, next we will configure the SD1 plugin. The SD1 plugin within the panorama helps uh, to automate the SD1 configuration and creation of the VPN tunnels automatically. So it is all about configuring the auto VPN. First, you need to add the devices here under the SD1 plugin. We have added already the hub and the branches. Let's see an example. Click add. You select the type of the site, hub or branch, select the router, name the site, sell, uh, yeah, specify whatever name you, need, you want. Then from the BGB, you configure the BGB configuration. Let's see how it's configured for the hub, for example. <clears throat> We have here enabled the BGB. We specify a router ID and the loopback address is the same IB. 
this IP range must not be used within your uh, address space uh, specify uh, AS uh, number, thermal system number and select or add the prefixes that uh, need to be redistributed or the networks that are reachable through the hub that need to be uh, accessed uh, from the branch branch is a similar configuration we have also defined the IP address for uh, router ID and specified the networks that can be uh, reached through the branch you don't have uh, to uh, mention or uh, specify the connected networks the connected networks are automatically distributed uh, from the branch to the hub then we can create a VPN cluster VPN cluster simply groups the branches and the hub in a topology you have two options hub and spoke or mesh and you need to specify a VPN address pool this is a range that will be used for the tunnel interfaces uh, to be used for tunnel monitoring then you commit and push the configuration uh, at the same time to the hub and branches after you push the configuration let's see the output or the final result from the branch let's check the network ibsec tunnels we will see the auto vpn already created five tunnels ibc5 ibsec tunnels to the hub two tunnels through the uh, isb1 and two tunnels through isb2 and the fifth tunnel is uh, for the mbls we will see also that the configuration automatically created two SD1 interfaces SD1901 and SD1902 SD1901 for direct internet access and SD1902 for uh, VPN access or to reach the uh, applications and services at the hub site also we will see the BGB uh, configurations We'll have here the BGB, the bearing. Uh, it is be uh, it has a bearing with uh, the hub. We have received these prefixes from the hub, and we distribute these subnets from the branch to the hub. We advertise these routes. So that's it. Uh, I hope this video is helpful to you. And thank you for viewing.